Hello and welcome to the session at a glance where we take a sneak peek into the lives of sports people and of course glitter artists. Today we have a rhythmic gymnast who is Smart Life's cover girl for the month of March. Presenting to you Meghna Reddy Gundlapalli who is the number one in the country and who recently won gold in the rhythmic gymnastics in the fifth friendly international tournament in Italy. Is that right? Yes. And um, I heard that you won gold in one apparatus named clubs and the other in uh, bronze in hoops. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell us what are the different categories in um, this sport? Uh, that people want, uh, like win prizes in or awards in? So in rhythmic gymnastics, we perform uh, with four different equipment, uh, namely hoop, ball, clubs and ribbon. And uh, each of these uh, apparatus, we perform a routine of 1 minute 30 seconds, uh, on, in which we include a number of difficulties such as jumps, pirouettes, balances, along with uh, dancing movements uh, and uh, as well as apparatus handlings. Uh, all of which uh, have a certain value, they are assigned a certain value and we are judged based upon this. So the more number of elements we have in our routine, the higher the score we get. Okay. What do you think is the most difficult equipment to, you know, perform with? I feel personally that it's ribbon because the ribbon is 6 meters long and we have to keep it moving constantly at every single point. So in the whole 1 minute 30 seconds, there is no place where the ribbon should touch the floor. Because if it touches, even if the end, like even if the 1 meter, like a really small bit in the end also touches the floor, we have a reduction for that. So I find that to be the most complicated to handle. Has there been a point where you got tangled in the ribbon? Yes, there have been multiple in competitions as well okay. <laughs> that I remember very well. Okay, can you tell us about one funny incident in all your travels and all the competitions that you've gone for? Oh, like that, there have been many, there have been multiple like you know funny and crazy stories that I have but I think um, uh, the most memorable one would be at one of my first few competitions, I guess. I was still new to competing. I wasn't really sure, like, you know, what I'm supposed to do if I miss the apparator or, or, you know, if something goes wrong. And at that point of time, I was doing with my hoop. And my hoop kind of, I rolled the hoop. It came back to me and I was supposed to throw it with my leg. But I somehow missed it and it rolled straight out of the carpet. And me being like, you know, still new to competing, I was so nervous. I didn't know what to do. I was like, you know, and we cannot stop the music at that point of time. So my music was going and then I kind of just immediately ran behind my hoop and then caught it. And then I continued with my routine. Okay. You can read more about her story on the Smart Life's uh, March issue. But for now, let's do a quick rapid fire. Yeah. All right. So answer in five seconds or less. Okay. <laughs> okay. A show you binge watched? Oh, they have so many shows, but I think my favorite one is Friends. Okay. Your first crush? Well, it was a long time back. It was in school. It was one of my classmates. For safety reasons, she will not be revealing names. Well. Okay. <laughs> All right. A lie you told your parents that you distinctly remember? Oh, that there was no alcohol at our freshers party? High school freshers party. <laughs> okay. A song you keep humming? Uh, it is City Slums by Raj Kumari. Your idea of a perfect getaway? Uh, I would say a resort on the beach. I wouldn't go into the water, but I'd just sit there on the beach watching the waves. Okay. One thing you always wanted to do, but never could? One thing... Skiing. Okay. I've had the opportunity, but I never went for it. Okay. A weird habit of yours? Well, I have this habit of sitting in splits whenever I'm watching TV or eating my food or doing my homework. Okay. Now that's that's really weird. <laughs> Something you would tell your younger self, oh, although you're young right now, but if <laughs> you know, if you were to start even younger, yeah. then um, I guess I would just 
say whatever i've been doing you know follow your dreams and don't give up just because someone says you're not worth it or you're not good enough for what you want to do okay what do you see yourself in another 5 years the typical interview question <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean well first i have the commonwealth games in the next 2 years and after that is the olympics in the next 4 years obviously trying to qualify for the olympics and then after that i haven't decided yet like after my sport what it is i would do uh would you call yourself a family person um how would you define a family person like i mean the definition changes for each and every one so very diplomatic <laughs> <laughs> okay a person you look up to my parents obviously one, one of them a person, person. <laughs> oh that is difficult you cannot you cannot make me choose between both of them i mean okay we're going to give you a leverage on that <laughs> okay <laughs> comfort food oh bell peppers oh without any spices uh, yeah just just raw bell pepper especially the red and yellow ones okay you should have this. listed that in the weird <laughs> habit i think <laughs> all right um your favorite fictional character um robert langdon from dan brown from the books uh, the series by dan brown okay all right um who is your favorite among the current top gymnasts in the world in the world currently i don't think i have one but uh, she is a player who retired after the rio olympics her name is margarita mamu she is my all time favorite okay so if you were granted three wishes okay what would those be <laughs> huh i would I would have asked for you know travel but I already do that. So let's see. Eating without getting fat. That is like every girl's dream. Don't be <laughs> all wish for that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um let's see. Hmm. Getting to watch the TV shows without having to wait for the next season like you know the gap between the seasons can be devastating. Okay and the third one hmm world peace i guess <laughs> <laughs> this is not miss world <laughs> um okay uh, world peace of course um okay if you were to ask um uh, another woman three questions mm-hmm. what would they be mm-hmm. i think first one would be what is your dream and would you pursue it and second one would be um world peace <laughs> what would you do for world peace <laughs> no world peace is not no that's too diplomatic so, mm, let's see let's put it in the scenario of women's day Okay. Yeah. So on Women's Day, what are the three questions that you want to ask uh, the women in our country and the women okay. around the world? So first thing is like I said, uh, what is it that you love to do? Uh, second thing, do you love what you are doing right now? And um, if you had the opportunity to pursue what you want, would you go for it without having to worry about the circumstances around them? Yes. <coughs> All right. Um so do you think that your sport is growing in uh I would say definitely yes. Uh, gymnastics in general gymnastics is a has a huge variety of uh, uh gymnastics is of many different types and rhythmic gymnastics is one of them. So I would say gymnastics as a whole is definitely growing. Uh rhythmic gymnastics also these days if you see the juniors are getting really good and there are more and more number of uh, younger kids who are showing interest in it so yeah it's definitely gaining popularity and i hope that you know one day it's just as popular as cricket or badminton yes and we hope for the same so all you youngsters out there who are planning on trying a new sport or something a notch up than your normal uh, gymnastics yes. I I and both uh, Meghna and I recommend uh, uh, rhythmic gymnastics uh, which is one among the two women only sports in the Olympics right yes 
Okay. The other one is synchronized yes, swimming. Yes. Okay. All right. So all you youngsters out there want to try something new. I, I, I recommend uh, Rhythmic Gymnast. So graceful, so elegant. You need to watch her. And um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Meghna. That's all for this session. Uh, stay tuned for more at a glance.